I don't want to speak for the majority, but I will in this instance. Um, I think a majority of us do still back Ten Hag, given the fact that, you know, he's put up with quite a lot of stuff since he's come into the job, you know, with the stuff with all the off-field situations, you know, that he's had with, um, you know, numerous players, injuries, you know, we still haven't been able to field our best 11 this season. Um, and obviously because obviously it's United, uh, people are, you know, just um, mainly making Sam. a bigger situation. Sam, let, let, me ask, let me ask you, right? Uh, yeah. why, why did Regulon start on the bench and Lindelof, who's a recognised centre-back, start on yeah. the left? Why, why was Varane on the bench for tactical reasons? While Harry Maguire, I can I can understand why he may have dropped Varane because in the last couple of games Varane just doesn't see himself, and we've been making this problem where we've been rushing players back into uh, back from injury and then getting back into a worse situation. Okay, why why are you paying eighty million pounds for Anthony and not bringing him on until four minutes left? Because he's been awful. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, you know, I don't think this would have been an issue if he was if we paid the price that we wanted him in the first place, which was I think was forty. But again, you know, I know uh, uh, Darren Bent's going to laugh at me for this, but again, because of the complacency of the owners, because they, Ten Hag, that was his first option. He wanted Anthony right at the beginning of the window for 40 mil. They said it was too much. They went back at the end for 80. And now, obviously, he's been made a sort of scapegoat, if you want to say. If he really had bought him for 40, the Anthony wouldn't have been a discussion at the moment. But the only thing, though, Sam, is that you did buy him for 70, and he's been terrible. Like, you, you, you for that sort of money, you've got, he's, he, you can't tell me that you, he's value for money yeah, from if, what you've seen so if we, far. If we bought him for 70 quid, it doesn't look value for money yet. No, no, I, I, I'll admit, he, literally, he adds nothing to that side at all whatsoever. Um, it, like to be honest, in the game against Man City, we had no options on the right wing, for example, going up because Dallow was literally by himself on that side. That's why he kept getting exposed. Uh, but seeing your question coming back to Reguilon as well, I think Ten Hag just wanted to go defensive first as opposed to anything. Uh, but again, I think, do you know what, um, Ten Hag, yes, he does need a plan B when it comes to us losing games because I haven't seen that. But again, it comes down to the players mostly uh, that I would blame because in the, you're not running for him, you should be running for the fans. Mm. Okay, good call. Thanks for that, Sammy. Let's go to Rob, a Man United fan. Hi, Rob. How's it going, guys? You all right? I'm great. How are you today? Uh, not great, mate, I'll be honest. Not great. Um, I wanted to talk about, I think Ten Hag's not, I don't think Ten Hag's doing a good job, but I think the structure, the, the lack of director of football, no sporting people at the club, is, is, is hampering things really badly. Like, for example, I think that, like, so if Jim Radcliffe came in, I don't want the Jim Radcliffe deal at 25%. I want the Glazers gone. But I think he would put a sporting structure in place. At the moment, we've got the Glazers away in America who like just want to take money out of the club, not interested in it. And then we've got like Myrtle and Richard Arnold who are businessmen. They're not football people. There's no structure. Now, Ten Hag might be a good manager, but he doesn't know anything about the English game. So why is Anthony for £80 million from... Um, Every division, and um, if we had a director of football, say someone like Rio Ferdinand, someone who knew the English game, we go, you know what? That's too much of a risk coming in from. Um, well, I don't think Eric Ten Hag signs the checks. No, he doesn't. But I think they could go like, look, I know you like that kind of player, but we've got young lads. There's a lad at, at Palace called Elise who's great on the wing. He's doing it in English game already. We could probably get him for sixty million. Oh, you want Mason Mount? Well, he's been a bit of a busted flush for a year. And but don't you think the manager should know if Mason Mount's been a busted flag? Do you not think the manager should do his homework? Yeah, and, and I do. I, but I, do, I don't think it should have been in his hands. I, I, I do. I question what Ten Hag's doing in training, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm with you. I'd go with you know, Emre in a heartbeat. I think him, with like a good director of football, would fix things quickly. But this is the problem. Ten Hag has spent £400 million real terribly. With that kind of money, you should be able to put a side together that can make a decent challenge. But he clearly does. Rob, Rob, let, Rob, let me ask you a question. When you look at some of his major signings, the likes of Anthony, Rasmus Hoyland, Casemiro, Mason Mount, Martinez, Onana, Malassia, I mean, Ericsson, Evans, Reguilon, Amrabat, Vegos, Sabitza, how many of them would you say, yeah, that's been a successful signing? I'm not talking about whether they've had a successful period. I'm talking about you go, yeah, that's that's been value for money. Probably Casemiro, who, like, you know, he struggled a bit this season because he's been left to out to hang up to drive out another midfielder in there with him. But most of them, you know, I, I was having a chat to a friend. I was thinking, if you sold those players now, would you even get two hundred million for, for them? And I don't think you would. And that that shows how badly it's been spent. But I just think he's he, Ten Hag underestimates the English game. He plays in midfield with like like yesterday. We had Amrabat on there. He takes he takes him off. There's no midfield, and you just like City just got to run through the yeah. midfield. 
Now, when he was at Ajax, it was fine. He'd just overload the attack. He'd be like, we've got better players than everyone else. We'll just overload. But I think he needed... I think you need a structure with someone there to go, look, mm. you can't do it like this. And and I, th- and I think it's until we get that at the club, no one will be a success. Having said that, I do think that Ten Hag's time up. I think he's got it all wrong and mm. he's spent badly. And he under, he, he, he's tacti- I don't know what they're doing tactically. You know, I, I can't see I can't see the plan. Do you know what, Andy, as well? Thanks for a great call. I mean, first of all, Rashford's performances at the minute are just, wow. But you know when you look at someone like Rashford, and no Harry Maguire, we've, we've sat her and gone, he deserves an opportunity. Facts are facts, he's not good enough. Who? Harry Maguire. We're, he's only getting an opportunity now because yeah. his injuries or players have not been good enough. Yeah. But as on the whole, he, he could now, have given a penalty away yesterday. Yeah, now, not good enough. Yeah. Not good enough at all. Yeah. But so, who is good enough in that team? Who do I think? Well, listen, I think once he's back, I think Luke Shaw's a good fullback. Without that, I mean, I don't know if you, have I, you, do you know changed him. I don't know, I've not changed my view, but I thought he played well yesterday. Yeah, made some really good saves. Yeah. I mean, Martinez is a World Cup winner. Like Ericsson? My legs are gone. Yeah, he's gone. That, uh, that's, there's a real lack of pace. Scott McTominay. Yeah, but again, I've said it before. He's doing it right now. But if you want to, if you've got aspirations of getting to the next level, he's not going to take you there. Yeah, I agree. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein, Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.